Hi everyone, this is Dr. K. Manohar Babu from VGS College of Pharmacy. Today I am going to discuss about genotoxicity, carcinogenicity and teratogenicity. So basically I am going to cover the genotoxicity, the cytogenetic markers and examples of the agents which causes the genotoxicity, carcinogenicity and different animal models and teratogenicity teratogenicity and in vitro techniques and examples for the teratogenic agents. It is the conversion of purine to pyrimidine is called as transversion or purine to purine is transition. So because of the chemical or drug the conversion of these nucleotides causes the genotoxicity is basically the damaging of the genetic information. So genotoxicity is the ability of any agent to damage genetic material. The toxic effect of any physical, chemical and biological agent on genetic material. Genetic material may be the DNA or RNA. Genotoxicity results in mutations which may result in tumor or causes includes physical agents radiation, UV, X-ray, etc. Chemical agents like hydrocarbons, aromatic amines, benzene, and biological agents such as virus, retrovirus, etc. Effect of the toxic agents that can be detected by various assays like chromosomal aberrations, micronucleus, comet assay, oxidative to the scenario. Coming to the chromosomal aberrations, so because of various uh, chemical agents, there will be break of breaking of the chromosomes. There will be breaking of the chromosomes and reattaching to some other chromosome. So here, uh, which results abnormal protein, which not follow the normal apoptotic pathway. Micronucleus. So this is the small nucleus, which is not of functioning, which, which doesn't have any functional activity. A small nucleus-like structure formed from the chromosome fragments or whole chromosome that lag behind during the anaphase and fail to integrate into the daughter nuclei. Genotoxicity can be determined by single cell gel electrophoresis or it's also called as comet assay. So in this, the blood, blood sample collected from the patient and they are prepared layers by using agarose and they undergo electrophoresis and later on they are going to observe on the microscope. After doing the single cell gel electrophoresis, this is the nucleus and these are the fragments. These are the fragments of the breakdown DNA particles. So it can be detected by the basic nuclei is called as head and this the fragments is called as tail. It is basically useful to detect the DNA damage and damaged DNA migrate more towards the anode forming comet appearance. The length of tail is proportional to extent of the DNA damage. The whole blood are harvested lymphocytes. Some are the agents that has the genotoxic effects, alkylating agents, platinum drugs, dopa isomerase inhibitors, etc. But these drugs can be used as a anti-cancer agents to uh, to in, uh, to uh, break break down the DNA of the cancer cells. Genotoxicity is useful in assessment of genotoxicity in occupational exposure of the individuals. Here occupational in the sense because of this uh, uh, exposure to the various chemicals during their occupation. Example petroleum filling uh, or paint workers etc. Testing of the new pharmaceutical product for its uh, safety and testing of various products used by the human like cosmetics, food etc. can be evaluated. This. So this is the typical example, the cadmium, if it is exposed, is, is inhibit the repairing mechanism and it enhances the oxidative stress and the resulting of that hypermutability and ultimately it leads to the carcinogenicity.
carcinogenicity it is ability of the drug to cause the cancers so here because of the repeated use or long term use of the drug may cause initiation of the carcinogenicity so carcinogenicity is the ability of the chemical to induce the tumors increase their incidence of tumor occurrence when it is inhaled ingested or topically applied the carcinogenicity studies are generally required for the pharmaceuticals that are expected to be used continuously for at least 6 months or intermittently for the treatment of the chronic or recurrent in this we are discussing the specific characters of the cancers these are uncontrollable division the damage to the gene controlling the cell growth cancer cell losses the normal functionality and divide rapidly and invade surrounding cells which is not a it is not commonly occur in the normal cells so here we a uh, properties of the cancers includes metastasis that in uh, that uh, means abnormal cell traveling to different sites and starting new tumors abnormal elongation and formation of new blood vessels all called as angiogenesis the objective of the carcinogenicity studies are to identify the tumorogenic potential in animals and to assess the relevant risk in human to check the carcinogenicity activity of the drug the drug is repeatedly given to the animal for more than 6 months and after 6 month we sacrifice the animal and we will check the toxicity and is there any development of cancers in various organs can be checked carcinogenicity evaluations in genetically engineered animal generally involves an exposure of 6 months versus exposure period of 18 to 24 months for the carcinogenicity evaluations the primary determinant of the duration of carcinogenicity evaluations in transgenic or knocked down mice so normally chimeric chimeric rat can be developed by using a mutated gene which is non functioning gene and the normal chromosome so here uh, this uh, mutated gene uh, this pair is inoculated into the blastocytes and these blastocytes which is taken from the brown mice uh, and uh, these are implanted are uh, implanted in the womb of the black mice so resulting the baby has the both characters of these two animals that indicates the chimeric chimeric in the sense two uh, two characters can be seen in the single animal gene knockout generally we know that each character is controlled by two set of genes in in uh, to find out a specific functionality of the gene will wantedly inoperative to a particular gene and we'll see the actual function of the gene in the tumorogenesis the gene knockout is a genetic technique in which one of the an organism's gene is made inoperative knockout organisms are used to study gene functions usually by the investigating the effect of gene loss so this is the development of for knockout uh, mouse here the knockout embryonic cells are developed and uh, the blastocytes uh, these are injected in the these stem cells are injected in the blastocytes resulting animal or blastocyte develops into the chimeric mouse which further give the mate chimeric mice with black mice resulting of these knockout mice so these are the various chemical carcinogens example polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons aromatic amines amino azodes and n nitroso compounds all these are the example for the chemical carcinogens because of the exposure of these chemicals the cancers may develop it is to study the fetal abnormalities due to the drug use so it is the capacity of the drug to cause the fetal abnormalities 
when administered to the pregnant mother. The tetrogenicity testing came into being since the thalidomide tragedy of 1961. The high demand for a rapid and reliable and cost-effective method for detection of the tetrogenic toxin. So here the, uh, the drug can show its tetrogenic activity in three stages. The first one is fertilization and implantation. Uh, it's uh, in conception to 17 days. So this is uh, normally it is unnoticed. Then arginogenesis, 18 to 55 days in, of the gestation. And growth and development, 56 days onwards. Apart from the vivo, we can use the in vitro technique to study the tetrogenic activity. That is, directly we'll take the embryos and we'll study the tetrogenic potential. So it is uh, the end point is normally mortality or malformation or growth inhibition. So we can use the zebrafish because it has uh, the transparent. Uh, so directly we can view the development. So embryonic development of the zebrafish. So since it is a transparency, we can directly view the process of extra. So here are the list of the tetrogenic agents, the pharmaceutical agents, example, thalidomide, tetracycline, septomycin, valproic acid, warfarin, penicillin, retinoic acid, etc. Then industrial tetrogens, lead, methyl, mercury, cadmium, arsenic, then microbial tetrogens, uh, trypanoadoma palladium. Herpes simplex, rubella, cytomegalovirus, etc. Then metabolic conditions in the mother, example diabetes, autoimmune diseases, phenyl ketonuria, etc. Hope this video is useful. Thank you.